3D printing is disrupting scores of industries, and the automobile industry may be next. Los Angeles-based tech startup Divergent 3D has racked up significant backing with plans to bring lighter, more fuel-efficient cars to the road, such as the one we see here. Divergent CEO Kevin Zinger is here to tell us more. Great to see you, Kevin. Hey, Thanks great to see you. Here. Thanks. So you guys make on a 3D printer what parts of the car? So the overall structure of the car, the, the part of the car that you attach all of the components to, the body, and gives the safety and performance of the car. That is 3D metal printed. And how does that work? I know we're looking at a video of it. Right. It's, it's 3D, it's metal that comes out of the 3D printer? Exactly. Or? Imagine you're replacing that huge, expensive, polluting factory with a design that you send to a machine that doesn't care which design you're sending it, and then with lasers and a different metallic powders, depending on how you build the chassis, yeah. then builds those parts up layer by layer, as complex or as simple as you want. Incredible, and then do you have to shape it once it comes out, or it comes out fully ready to go? No, it, it, the shape is optimized. The shapes right. look very much like nature, because nature optimizes material and energy, and then they're like super complex, customized Lego blocks that fit together. Incredible. Now, at this point, you don't have plans to make the entire car from a 3D printer, do you? No. I mean, the, the idea is really replace the pollution and factory right. with this new type of manufacturing. And tell us about the new funding and backing you just received. Yes, so we, we raised a Series A, $23 million, that are going to allow us to scale up. We entered into a partnership with uh, PSA Group, Peugeot, which is one of the big global auto manufacturers, to work with them, in particular their CEO, Carlos Tavares, to build real mass vehicles using this technology. Incredible. And what are the advantages of using this technology? The advantages are it's much faster to design and build a car. It is much cheaper and more profitable. Instead of the huge amount of money that, say, your Toyota or Tesla you have to put into a factory, instead you're simply taking data, sending it to a machine that doesn't care what the design is, and printing it and assembling it. And that replaces that big factory. So that's much more profitable. It re replaces a lot of people, too, a lot of manual labor, correct? No, it actually doesn't. It oh, does it? I'll, I'll tell you what it does. Okay. It takes manufacturing where somebody, because it's so upfront capital intensive, mm -hmm. would focus on shrinking the labor force and send it overseas. It allows it to come back and be relocalized and built in the USA or built wherever they want to build locally. Fantastic. And of course, then these cars would be more ev environmentally friendly as well. Much more because it, they reduce the material and energy decrease the weight of the vehicle while increasing its crash performance. Now, we've seen this video of this mm -hmm. car called Blade, right? Yes. Great name. Now, it's been inspected and approved by the California DMV, correct? Yes, no, it's a, it's registered. I mean, that car itself is a technology demonstrator. The prototype. Yeah, yeah, the cars that we would build for, say, a Peugeot or another major auto company look like very standard cars, but they use this process for manufacture. Have federal regulators weighed in yet on it? I mean, the, the cars themselves, when they get designed, yeah. they're designed using the engineering you need to have a safety certified car. Absolutely. So what is next for you guys? Next is finding uh, additional car making uh, partners. Mm -hmm. You know, over the last couple of months, we've developed a par uh, pipeline of major uh, car makers and use this technology to help those car makers build really cool, uh, environmentally friendly, profitable it cars. exciting. Have you driven that car? Have you, of course. Have you it gets driven all the time. If you're, yes, if you're, if you're ever out, <laughs> out there, Tanya, you know, there are lots of shots of it being driven. I can tell you. How does you, it drive? How does it oh, sound? I mean, the, how, well, the, the car is very light, very strong, very high performance. We picked a supercar because you need to have super performance out of it. And Does when it that, sound like a car? I mean, what, Sure, it sounds like it could use, yeah. the, this is a technology where you can use any kind of drivetrain. It can be electric, it can be gas. Okay. But I'll tell you one thing, when you use this structure, it then allows you to separate the body and sculpt whatever cool body you want on top of it, right? So when that car gets driven, literally it stops traffic in San Francisco or, or Los Angeles. Hundreds of people come up without even knowing it's 3D printed. They find out it's 3D printed and then they totally go off they the They go hook. through the roof, yeah. You, totally. I mean, I've, I've actually on Market Street in, in, uh, uh, in San Francisco, uh, uh, had an entire block stop of traffic and people get out to try to take photos of the car. Amazing, amazing. Yep. Kevin Zinger sounds like a lot of fun. Congratulations on the stuff you're working on there. Thanks, Tanya. Thank Enjoyed you. it.